Good morning, kids. I'm coming to you from the sanctuary, although this is the Wednesday before Sunday when you would be viewing this, but I'm sitting in the very same place where we would gather for children's time uh, before the virus hit. You can see right back here is what's called a pulpit, and that's where people read the scriptures, and a lot of times that's where a pastor or a priest will uh, give a sermon. Now you've probably heard me give some sermons, or maybe you've kind of fallen asleep during it. I don't often use that, but what I do is I use this. Kind of stands in front, and because uh, I like to wander around a little bit, but not everybody does. So one of the things that I want to ask you about has to do with who stands there to give a sermon? Today is a day that we're celebrating all the people of the church that aren't the pastor. And a word for that is called the laity. As a pastor, or sometimes a priest, um, you can use those words interchangeably, we're clergy, and the rest of the church are the laity. And Without the laity, there would be no church. And it's the people of the church who call up, identify those who they want to be clergy to help lead the others. And a lot of that has to do with preaching and sometimes preaching from there. But today, Kathy is going to be preaching. She's bringing the word. And part of that is to remind us of how important all of the church people are. And church folk can do just about everything there is to do and do just about everything there is to do in the church. So we celebrate that today, and I'm wondering what it is that you do in the church. I know you watch this video. I know that you uh, have and probably will again come to church but do you think of the church as your church or just the church that you go to? I want to challenge you to think of this as your church and that someday you'll stand there, maybe read scripture or maybe give a sermon. Who knows? Or offer a prayer. It's an important sort of thing. and We're thankful today that we have so many wonderful members of this church and you're part of that. Pray with me. Say, dear God, I give you thanks for all the different people of the church. I give you thanks for the gifts and graces that we all have. Help me to find my place in your church. Help me to grow more and more like Jesus. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. We'll see you next time.